Okay, the Paris Hilton of Parker does not want to drive us, so we are going to have to go in the country mobile. Considering that in the past month, I have wrecked my mom's car, ruined my tires. I don't know why anyone would want to let me drive their car, but here I am again, driving yet another person's car. Happy Vlogmas Day 2. I already lost track and it's been two days. We have a whole cast joining us today for holiday milkshake taste test number two. This is now a tradition because if you do something two times, it's a tradition. Okay. Uh -huh. We have Grandma Janice from Salt Lake City, Utah. <laughs> Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, round two. I only have my ladies sunglasses. <laughs> from straight out of Grandma's we have Susie and Vicky. Oh Jesus God. Christ! <laughs> Thanks for the invite. He does no, all no, the good. manual labor and then doesn't get he invited does not for the fun come. video. He does not drink milkshakes. <laughs> we are no longer in Los Angeles, which means that you can actually find junk food. Well, which also means it's not going to take us three hours to get to two stores. <laughs> yeah, we could go to multiple stores in probably under an hour and find a milkshake at each and every one of them, which is why one would debate that suburb life, well, people are a little fatter and a little happier. I don't know. I feel like I'm emotionally not there after Thanksgiving. Just Ryan, had it. wasn't my text. Gave you a breakdown. <laughs> about okay. the fact that I can't get pregnant. I'm yeah. also having oh, a breakdown yeah. about that. We just had the car key. Where the heck could it have gone? Are you sitting on it? Yep. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Eat <laughs> No, have you ever you seen my badonka donk? It's so big, I can't feel nothing back there. All I have to say oh. is, oh. rule is, since everyone said that I have to drive, no one can complain about my driving. We got honked out like three times well, last wife. year. Going to good oh times. Oh my gosh, it is And it's gonna be a really there. good time. The problem with dad's truck is it doesn't really fit through the drive throughs comfortably. That's, it's like yeah. it's like trying to fit in your jeans after Thanksgiving. It's like, is it gonna fit? We don't know, but we're gonna try. Holiday shakes are back. Yeah, right. Pumpkin pie, mint grinch, and eggnog. They Whoa. have three and they come with wafer eggnog. straws. Hi, um, <laughs> What? I've never talked to any of us with that gentle of a voice in your life. <laughs> Hi. Maybe you guys make me angry. Hi. Wow. <laughs> one eggnog shake, one mint grinch shake, one pumpkin pie shake. Are you excited for some high quality milkshakes? But she can't talk, so. She yeah, can talk. You can't sure. talk shit about our family because they'll probably watch. <laughs> we should see, like do a test who watches and start saying like scandalous things about people and well, see if they notice. This isn't the video because half of us are here. I don't mind saying anything to any of your guys' face. I've noticed. Grandma, you're my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Thank yeah. you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's look how cute. For. They say Colorado native on though. What do they look like in there? Beautiful mint green. Very 2016 Bethany Modem and nail polish vibes. Oh, they're good consistency. This one is a beautiful white creamy consistency. Kind of looks like snow on Christmas morning. Is this eggnog? Yeah. Oh no, my no, God. No, 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 no. Oh. This is pumpkin pie. This is oh. eggnog. <gasps> wow, McDonald's is canceled. Nobody needs a McDonald's eggnog That's milkshake. If they're going to make it hard to find, just go hightail it over to Good Times. And good I Times is underrated. Requirements for me for a good milkshake are thickness. If you can drink mm. it like a liquid, uh-uh. It's, uh -uh. it's a zero for me. That's Just don't even hand it to me. me. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. Customer service, ready, 10 man. out of 10. was very pleasant. Okay. Oh, Didn't even you. rush you at the oh, drive-thru. Very polite. Gave me like dreamy eyes. Loved Grandma him. ate I said, hers. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Minty Grinch, everyone go. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. I like it. I like that there's not mm. the little crunchy things in it because sometimes I don't want that. I want to drink a milkshake because I want it to be like a smooth sail. And when they put the little crunchy things in it and like get stuck in your teeth, you could eat this and then go on a date with something. <laughs> something, yeah. If a boy doesn't <laughs> want to date you, you can find something out there. Because you won't have anything in your teeth. Mm -mm -mm. And the cup is cute. Packaging, adorable. Colorado native, adorable. I don't have anything else to compare it to yet this year, so I'll start at a solid 7 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 9. Whoa. Nine. Nine. Eight. Whoa! Whoa. Dancing with the stars! <laughs> this is the beautiful pumpkin pie. Look at the orange, look at the mm. spice, look at the nutmeg. Grandma's gonna love this one. Pumpkin pie, is everyone ready? Good yeah. Job. Or eggnog, I'm not really 100% sure. <laughs> Mom ate to give me more time. <laughs> Too intense for me. I mean, definitely, oh. <laughs> it is the pie portion of a pumpkin pie in ice cream. like With extra blown. nutmeg. Yeah. I give this one a four. I give this a four as well. Five. Maybe even a 3.5. 
six, no, five. I'll stick with them. Five. If you love pumpkin pie, this is it for you, though. Thanksgiving's over, though. We've moved on from pumpkin, so you just kind of take it out of your palate, right? Oh, tomorrow our plumbing systems are Here, Mom. not going to be good. Okay, I think this is eggnog, but it kind of just looks like vanilla, to be honest. Three, Ready, two. Mom? Did you already eat yours? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, the eggnog mm. is tops. Wow. Mm. It's pretty good. I don't even like eggnog, and That's it's pretty good. good. Wow. Oh. It's That's fantastic. Really oh, it's very good. If you're gonna eat a whole shake, I'd go with the mint. If you're gonna get a small, I'd go with the eggnog. I give the eggnog a seven, but I don't love eggnog. Seven. Ten. Yeah. You know Ten. what? I'm My kinda opinion. dancing with the stars paddle. Yeah. Yeah, what? Ten. You wanna know how I used to make it? I used to buy vanilla ice cream and a carton of eggnog. <laughs> And then that's how I'd make it. Like. And you'd mix it up? Uh huh. Woo! Life hack. Overall experience, we a 9.5 out of 10. Chick fil A was the winner last year. Everyone knows that Chick fil A's peppermint shake is like a 10 out of 10, maybe even a 10.5 out of 10. So do we really have to try it to know that it's an 11 out of 10 again? No, we already know. We're trying all new things. I thought it was a flaw in the production of the, the video. Their lobby is closed. We'll see if their ice cream machine is closed that's as well. That's really classy, that sign. Like it. Last year when we came to McDonald's in search of the eggnog shake, they turned us uh, away we and we had three. to get a pie. We did go to three different McDonald's. We're gonna sit in this line and then they're gonna say, we have no holiday shakes. Hi, can I help you? Hi, do you guys have the eggnog shake? No, we do not. Oh. Any holiday Do shakes? you have any of the holiday stuff? No. You heard it here first, people. McDonald's once again has disappointed us all and does not have any holiday options. Watch, they do have it and he just didn't want to make it. That would be me. <laughs> no, one time I came here like four in the morning and everyone oh was getting God. drunk food and I was like, well, I guess I'm ready for breakfast. And I was like, are you still selling oatmeal? And he was like, yeah, but honestly, I don't want to make it. I'm McDonald's? Oh my goodness. Zero out of 10. We are back again. Oh my god, have you guys seen Arby's Instagram? No. It's one of my favorite accounts. What? Hi. <laughs> um, <laughs> I get really excited about this. Can we do one caramel cinnamon shake? And then can we do a jamocha shake? Dang. Can we also do a large curly fry? No. What about that the straight really fries? The crinkle? We want the curly, but if you're only going to give us the crinkle, we'll take it. No, I'll give you curly. All right. <laughs> Look at that beautiful Arby's sign. You know what? Everyone hates on Arby's. Where are you going? I'm just trying to vibe. You're trying to <laughs> You were like 20 feet. I still don't even know if you're gonna be able to reach. You know how long my arms are? I could reach you if you were in Florida. I want to do a full in-depth review of Arby's because I feel like everyone hates on it and their Instagram is fire. Fries are fire. The name? Fire. Yeah, when have you ever seen an Arby's shut down? You French haven't. Dip. You like that roast beef? She probably would like to. Many. Here you go. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, you look so cute! Oh you are! <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh! Wow. Thank you! Gorgeous. What was your name? Arwen. Arwen, it's yeah. nice to meet you! And they have shakes. Okay, Arwen at Arby's was a 10. The presentation, 10! I am sick and tired of everyone slamming Arby's. People just are, like, every time you bring up Arby's, people are like, you eat at Arby's? And I'm like... When's the last time you ate at Arby's? right now. Come on, people. You can't even <laughs> deny that this looks delicious and a half. It's gorgeous. This is one of those things for me that makes me feel like I am lucky to live on this earth. Oh, wow. You're going into the curly fries, mm. huh? Okay, who else has a cup? I do. Mm. I do. Mm. The I have met thing. Jesus, and he looks a lot like this. Do you want to scoop one out? I don't want to spill again. Boom. But she needs a pink spoon. Right. I guess we should take a thumbnail. You left your car. You're not gonna say. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> there was a gift. Literally, <laughs> <laughs> was like handing it back to the lady. She's like, "This isn't mine." I was like, "Of course." <laughs> <laughs> We're still so much. Thank you. Ten out of ten servers from Arwen at Arby's. Okay, ready, everyone? Cinnamon crunch from Arby's. Mmm, it's good. Very milky and very cinnamony. It kind of tastes like when you drink the milk at the bottom of the cinnamon toast. Very crunch. milky. Yeah, I'd agree with that. If you're lactose intolerant, this is not for you. Disclaimer <laughs> if you are lactose intolerant, I don't think that any of these are actually for you. I give it a seven, uh, six. I was going to say right in the middle out of five. Seven. Six. Five. But six. you know what? <laughs> Calm down, Grandma. We've got one more. Oh. I think no, Arby's might be one of the mess. seven wonders of the world. These are usually really are you, thick. I cannot get these fries in my mouth fast enough. They're so freaking stinking good. 
Okay, well this is a shake review video. Oh, right. Okay, this one has a good chocolate topping. Mm. This one's good. Mm. Mm. Pretend mom, pretend. That's a nine. This is the best one that Arby's That is has. for sure a nine. Let me have one more bite. This is like a frappuccino, but actually good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the problem with frappuccinos is they're too icy. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is more of the milkshake texture. So I'm gonna give it a seven for now. I'm gonna give it an 8.5. 10. Okay, oh, those look he delicious. handmade these. Peppermint hot cocoa, cinnamon toast crunch churro, gingerbread. Finally, we're talking with some mm -hmm. actual holiday milkshakes. This is incredible. Let yeah, look at the little focus. churros. None of the other places presentation even is, comes close. I know. It was in there with like three separate sprinkle containers going tap, tap, tap. Okay. The first one we we're trying is I'm cinnamon good. toast crunch swirl. Num, 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 num. I am going down under. Look at that. The perfect amount of milkshake, whipped cream, and a churro piece. Ready, everyone? Yep. yep. Mm. Mm -hmm. That ice cream is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is 10 out of 10. The best one we've had all day. Okay, also side note, oh. it's haagen ice cream. haagen Hand spun milkshakes, and I can attest that I was very impressed with how he handmade them. Let me tell you, this is everything the Arby Shake wanted to be but couldn't be. This okay, is so Grandma. freaking good. Churro pieces all throughout. It's not too cinnamony. It's a good consistency. Mm. I'm mm. gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10. Well, you know they say that Haagen Dazs mm. is the only real ice cream that you can buy at the store. Wow. That's what Trinity told me. Is that a reliable mm. <laughs> source? <laughs> we don't know. Thank you. The crunch. The texture, the creaminess, Thank it's all there. You. Numbers, please. I rated a nine. Nine. Seven. Eight. <laughs> ten. <laughs> you give it a ten? I gave it a ten. I think it's the best thing we've yeah. had all day. He's a harsh critic, so a ten I is like, whoa. Ten. This is peppermint hot cocoa. Fantastic presentation mm. with the red and green mm. sprinkles on top. Mm. Mm -hmm. That was good. Mm -hmm. Whoa. The chocolate with mm. the peppermint is a really lovely mixture. Whoa. This is nice, subtle hints of chocolate and peppermint. Not too in your face, but very yeah, like, subtly perfect. They didn't try too hard. Oh my God, we have another mm -hmm. 10 on our hands. Flawless. I think this is better than Chick-fil-A's. I whoa, would dare to say the whoa. same. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Nine. I'm gonna go another 10. 10. Uh, eight. Ten. <laughs> wow! Three tens, that's the highest rated we've had all day. This is gingerbread. Beautiful garnishing on the top of the gingerbread. Okay, ready everyone? Yeah. Yep. Gingerbread on three. One, two, three. A gingerbread, ginger just isn't my favorite flavor. Yeah, I don't think I would like eat a gingerbread house for fun. I what think is? the consistency is really good. Mm -hmm. The consistency is fabulous. This cream is good. It's just, it's just not my favorite hint. Not a bad shake, not my flavor. Six. I can't say eight. Nine. <laughs> hmm. Four. Six. So if you live in a hillbilly hometown, you either have to go to Smashburger or Good Times if you want a holiday shake that's worth phoning home about. Arby's customer service is amazing and also the fries are top tier. They could work on their shakes just a little bit, but we'll give it to them because they are just for curly fries. And don't forget, you get, don't sleep on Chick-fil-A. If you're close to Chick-fil-A, still a great shake. Any final thoughts? No. <laughs> Thank you for coming to our very extensive review. Happy Vlogmas! Mm-hmm. Mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Oh, I was trying Happy to give it an epic outro. Bloop. Yeah, that worked. Okay, so I wanted to give you some final statistics based on pure science. So in dead last, to no one's surprise, we have McDonald's. Sixth place is taken by Good Times Pumpkin Pie Shake. Tied for fifth, we have Smashburger's Gingerbread Shake and Arby's Caramel Cinnamon Shake. Following in fourth is the Good Times Mint Grinch, which was a personal favorite of mine, but not everyone can have great taste. Third is another tie with Arby's Jamocha Shake and Smashburger's Cinnamon Toast Crunch Shake. Runner up is the Good Times Eggnog Shake, and the final winner is the Smash burger peppermint hot cocoa shake so to get a little more specific as I am a professional I wanted to rank the restaurants average because you may have three screaming kids who all have different palates or an annoying boyfriend who hates everything good so McDonald's got a zero out of 50 don't fucking waste your time because we all know even if they sold the eggnog shake the machine would be broken as fuck Arby's scored an average of 33.5 good times scored an average of 36.167 
And topping the charts is Smashburger at 39.3. So basically, get in your car, head over to Smashburger, take your friend, get a nice little shake, and I will see you all tomorrow. I love you so much. Bye.